Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. It is crack of dawn, it is the crack of dawn. 7 a.m. But we're not in trouble. <laughs> because we're not at a show, we should be at a show. We got invited to go to a show. We didn't go though because we're not quite ready. We decided not to go, but that is not the end of the shows for us, you guys. We have a lot of shows coming up. We have at least two shows, but there are gonna probably be more than that. I'm with Sam doing chores today. This morning, girls are sleeping in. We let them sleep in on the weekend sometimes because they don't get very many weekends in the summer. And in the school day, school year, they don't get to sleep in at all. So, um, because they have chores on weekends and they have school, like it's just a lot. So we let them sleep in every once in a while on a weekend. Sam and I get together and do chores together. A family that chores together stays together. You know how when you don't eat coffee, don't drink your morning coffee, you feel sluggish? Well, I don't drink coffee and I feel sluggish. Ugh. All right, so look at this. I'm gonna wash their pans. I wash them once a week. But look at this, you can tell like who gets the most supplements. You can see like the oil and stuff. But look how messy Chino's pan is compared to like Storm. Storm is a clean horse. And Gracie's. And then Willow's. Wait, which one's Honey's? I think this, I don't know. I don't know, but anyway, you can see Chino's horse, Chino's, and I don't know whose this one is. Chino gets the most crap in his bucket and his bucket is always the grossest. Chino. And then Penny gets the most supplements. And all of our horses get magnesium, that's that white stuff. And the reason that they get magnesium in the summertime, magnesium is a natural vitamin that helps with, it's actually, magnesium is a, a natural mineral that helps regulate blood sugar. So when they're out there eating all that grass, especially because we have older horses, all of our horses, horses are starting to age, um, we give them magnesium in the summer because it really helps them to regulate and not get metabolic. Three, two, all right, they don't look beautiful, but Christmas this year, everyone gets a new bucket. Oh, we should all take a lesson from the goats who just slowly wander outside cherish the su and cherish the sun and the view. But I notice our goats are really drying up, so that's exciting. She's really drying up, the one with the single baby and the one with the twins. I notice a huge change in her bag, too. Everyone's literally trying to kill me this morning. Wow, you got big. Look at how big she is. Get out there. Go. And then out the door. Out the door. Out the door. Come on. Out the door. No, this way. Yes. Good girl. Anyway, they're out. <laughs> I got attacked by the cat today, and the, the only provocation is that I was petting him. If you pet the cat and spend time with him and cuddle him, then if you try and walk away, apparently that's not allowed. Look at how tiny this bucket is. How see how tiny it is? It holds a whole entire bag of food. Isn't that insane? Oh shoot, I missed them. But I was thinking all the work we do to make the goat pasture happy and fun for them, they love this tree here. They're constantly climbing it. I just looked out there and they were on top of it, climbing up it, biting it, chewing it. They love that tree. And there's Chino out there. Somebody in the comments today was mentioning about how Chino needs to be walking. And actually, I'm super impressed with the fact that he's been walking a lot. Like, we had a few days with the first bout of laminitis. I don't know if he had a laminitis flare this time, or if, I don't know what happened. But he's doing so much better. But anyway, I'm actually impressed with the walking that he has been doing, especially since we moved here. He, when the horses come up to the, towards his paddock, he actually walks down there. He's been walking up and down the whole paddock and in and out of the barn. So I am impressed with that. His feet are still holding up really well with the padding that we put on yesterday. Someone suggested some cloud boots. I'm gonna look into those today because he does have scoop boots, but like they mentioned, they're not padded the way he probably needs, but I'm happy to get those if, if I can. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. <laughs> he's over there which is amazing. He walked all the way over there by himself. Ellie is learning to coexist with the duck and the goose. She actually prefers to chase them, but she's doing, she's doing better. <laughs> I 
Aren't they the cutest though? Like honestly, they're so cute. Like, I could just gobble them up. Like our goose, our duck, really filled out. She's looking so cute. Can you hear me? You're looking so cute. So we might get a mate for each of them in the spring. You hear that? A mate. <laughs> She's wiggling her tail. Yes, I want a boyfriend. <laughs> Ellie, get in here. Come on. Come on. The other thing I wanted to ask your advice about, because I truly appreciate your advice, is that I put this sensing on here to keep the horses from putting their feet through and trying to climb through, especially the baby. And now it's a necessary thing that the goats are roaming around. I need it on here so they don't get out because if they get out into this section, they can go out that door and out into the farm, like out of the farm. But honey spends all her time destroying it. That's what she does at night. She destroys this thing. I'm, I'm going to replace it today. I'm going to replace all of this today so that it's safer. But my question to you guys is what would you use instead? We have fencing. You guys, whoops, do you guys see that wire fencing way down there? Uh, so we have that, but Sam says it's too wide. They can put their feet through there, especially honey. So that won't work. So I'm gonna replace it with this green stuff today just so that like it's, it's not dangerous for honey, but, or so, and so that the goats can't climb through it. But what do you recommend? I don't know, I think we need to put wood up. But the thing is, I don't like the wood. I like that I can see. I can see through it. Like, I love coming in. I love the opening, the openness of this barn. So, I don't know. Let me know. And the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, I get a lot of comments about how come we didn't use the seven stall barn and how it's so much better. Um, but, and I myself really struggled with the whole not having. Um, bars on the stalls I thought like oh gosh Laura this is gonna be awful I've worried like I'd be walking by and they'd be like sticking their head out and rubbing on me or whatever I love it I freaking love it like it is so much more natural the horses are so much more natural they the horses seem so happy like they are so much less stressed I don't know, Storm in a stall? Like, he loves his stall. Like, he doesn't mind being in there now. It's so weird. It's so weird. Like, when you have a setup, I don't know. I think lots of times traditional stalls are for our benefit, not necessarily for the horse's benefit. And they are loving having this open space. And they use this space all the time. Um, just keeping it safe for them is the trouble. Sam and I are having breakfast in the barn. We're having a breakfast date. Everybody else here just enjoying our time in the barn. It's all nice and clean, ready to go for the day. So we're having breakfast. Sam is out there cutting grass and I'm trying to clean up some of the yard. And we've never seen a snake on this property at all. But I ran over this thing and I can't tell if it's a snake or if it's a rope. It looks like a rope. But then when you look in there, it looks all wound up like a snake, so I'm nervous. It has been so nice having Sam home this morning to get work done with today. Uh, he, is, he is cutting the grass and getting that kind of stuff done. Sophie, we have to go clean our goat barn today. Yeah. Let's do a big clean. Like we muck it every day, but then we do a big clean every few days, so we have to do that today. Uh, redo all the bedding, clean out all the old bedding and put in all new bedding. Clean the duck and goose thing. Yeah, the duck and the goose things, they made a mess in there now. I know. They haven't. They have been really clean, but lately they made a mess. All right, let's go. We're going to go on a little adventure, Sophie and I. We're going to take you guys. Sophie and I found a yard sale, a huge yard sale. So we decided to stop by and see if they have anything interesting that we could like craft or hang up in our new house. Look at they have bright green plates. I'm a sucker for bowls. I also want one of these cake plates, but I want one with a lid. Well, that's something. My kids would, would have loved that when they were little. That thing's cute. That, this, that'd be cute for like shoes and stuff. I don't know if it's for sale. Mm, a piano, that'd be cool. Look at a nice shovel. All old lady stuff. When I was young, I liked old lady stuff, now I'm old. I like more modern stuff. It feels like a fall today. It is glorious outside. A little bit cool, still warm, but fall is in the air. Now that we've done a lot of the things we wanna to do to the barns, 
um, and around the farm area for the animals. There are some things I want to do around the house and I want to show you guys one of the projects that I want to do this fall. This is something just for me and I am excited to do it. So I'm going to show you guys and give me your best ideas of what you think I should do. Is our front porch and unfortunately it has all these bushes but it's really long. I have this patio furniture out here. I was going to hang up like a curtain here, but Sam said he couldn't do it. it out of wood. I had it at the other house. But anyway, I wanted to put that there for privacy and then make this like this really cute little area. But I'm thinking like I could paint the cement. I could paint this stuff. I want to clean all the bushes. Um, and then there's this whole other area over here that I don't even know what I would do with it. So these are the things that I wanted to hang up there. But this is it. This is the front porch. If you're a decorating kind of person, let me know what you would do with it. I'm actually really excited to make this a really good spot to sit and read in the fall. We maybe didn't sign up to go to a horse show today, but we're at a horse show. We're at a horse show because our friends are showing and we came to support them. The thing you do when you're bored at a horse show. Oh, Sophie I made this. Sophie made Olaf out of foam. It's not foam. It's like clay. Stuff. Squishy. Not All right, so we're going to go up and watch Kate. She's about to ride. Actually, should she have to warm up her now? Yeah. We just got home. It's so late, you guys. We went shopping to get a new TV. I, I think he's scared to jump down. So that we can put a TV in the barn. So we went to the horse show, and then we went there. All the animals see us coming home, and they're like, they're home. They get so excited. What I really want to see is if the horses know when to come in. Let's go see who thinks that all the horses are in. Who do you think are in? Comment below. Who do you think is in? <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> they didn't come. So that's one thing we have to do. We have to train them to come in. Even Chino's not in here. Uh-oh. Where the heck is Chino? <laughs> Willow's in. The duck and the goose are here. This scares me. Where the heck is Chino? Oh, I see him. <laughs> He's over. Oh my gosh. He's with his girl. Oh, I thought his girl was there. She's not. <laughs> but he's looking at her. You see? You see the girl? His girl over there? He wants to go out. That's all he wants. And that's all I want for him. Come on, Chino. Come on, guys. Supper time. Come on. Come on. Bedtime for you guys too. Come on. Let's see if they come. Hey, won't you pull me another? I'm going in. So wish me good. <laughs> good boy. Go in the barn. Yeah, gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. They come. The Our horses are no, so cool. Way too late, but I just can't Here comes get Chico, my too. eyes of you. <laughs> All right, so he's limping a lot because the boot is weird. Go to the barn. Don't come to me. Go to the barn. Oh, ha, ha. go to the barn. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That was fun. I called all the horses for you. That goat, honestly, that she is just our prized goat. So I brought down all this stuff earlier, so but then got distracted. Hi, I love him too. I love Rocky. I love you all. Even Ollie was outside in the goat field and he came running when we came. Anything, I will do anything to get your love. Hey, won't you pull me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Anyway, we will see you guys tomorrow. We have a really busy day again tomorrow. We're doing something really fun. <laughs> uh, but we'll take you guys with us. Yeah, really fun and it's at night. So tomorrow will probably mostly be a nighttime vlog or else I'll end up doing two vlogs because we're actually doing two different things tomorrow. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're